Eternal Word Television Network, built for you. You are watching the Eternal Word Television Network. anything to us. Do you forgive me? Of course we do. Uh, really? How could we not forgive you? We only want you to understand that what you did was wrong. And that if you're really sorry, we'll always, always forgive you. Then it doesn't matter to you that I'm not perfect? Oh, my little boy. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I'll always be honest with you. I was afraid. That's why I didn't want to tell you. Son, you should never be afraid. The people who really care for you will always forgive you. I have to go. Where to? I just remembered something really important. mad at me, aren't you? I want us to be friends still. I'll do whatever you say if you'll forgive me. Whatever I say? Mm-hmm. Well, are you ready? Mm hmm Ready? Catch this! But, but... I want you to look after it this week. It's all yours. You're not mad at me? That means that you forgive me? Uh huh. So then we're friends again? Yeah, of course. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Thank you for showing Manuel and Philip the value of forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness. We see the crucifix that hangs over the altar. For having chosen to die on the cross to pay for our sins, and for having left us the sacrament of confession. Make sure all your children know that when they are truly sorry, they can go to a priest who will forgive their sins in your name and your power, Jesus. You are so good.
splendor of truth. I'm Raymond Arroyo. It is with great personal sadness that I report the passing of our beloved foundress and dear friend, Mother Mary Angelica, the Abbess Emerita of Our Lady of the Angels Monastery. For nearly 15 years, Mother Angelica had been confined to her monastery owing to a debilitating stroke on Christmas Eve 2001. It impaired her speech and limited her mobility. She retired from EWTN earlier that same year to devote her attentions to her community. The Canton, Ohio native will best be remembered as the foundress of the Eternal Word Television Network, the largest religious media organization on the planet. She guided the fledgling network from a monastery garage in Birmingham to an international broadcast powerhouse, reaching hundreds of millions on television and countless others on shortwave, AM, FM radio, and the Internet in multiple languages. Mother Angelica is the only woman in the history of television to found and lead a cable network for 20 years. For Catholics, Mother Angelica preserved devotions and liturgical practices many thought lost. She offered hope to the hopeless and broadcast a vibrant orthodoxy that took root during the papacies of St. John Paul II and Benedict XVI. In October of 2009, Pope Benedict recognized her evangelical achievements when he awarded Mother the highest honor the Church can bestow on laity and religious, the Pro Ecclesia et Pontifice Medal. Three collections of Mother Angelica's teachings and prayers, as well as her biography, were all New York Times bestsellers. Mother survived by her two communities, the Poor Clares of Perpetual Adoration at Our Lady of the Angels Monastery in Hansville, Alabama, and her nuns in Phoenix, Arizona, San Antonio, Texas, and Trois, France, as well as the male community she founded, the Franciscan Missionaries of the Eternal Word in Birmingham, Alabama. Mother Angelica was 92 years old. Stay tuned for more details about Mother's passing, her funeral arrangements, and our celebration of the life and legacy of this extraordinary nun. May Mother Mary Angelica rest in peace and may perpetual light shine upon her. Live truth. Live Catholic. Okay, kids, gather around. It's time to start the day. Sorry, sorry. Ah, Logan, you will be shaping the donuts. Check. Check. Wendy. You will be frying the donuts that Logan has shaped. Check. Check. Rosa, Reagan, you will be putting sugar and sprinkles on the donuts that Logan has shaped. Wendy has fried. Check. 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 Corey, you will be stocking the donuts that Logan and Wendy and Rosa and Reagan have made. Check. Check. Ah, Lydia, you will be our greeter. Here at the Masterpiece Donut Shop, you will be welcoming everyone with a big, friendly hello. Check. 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 Ryan and Sue, you will be wiping the tables. Check. 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 Mariella, you will be cleaning the kitchen. Check. Check. Okay. And Tyler, you will be sweeping this floor and you will be keeping the sidewalk clean. Check. 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 Okay. Hey, what about me? Oh, Duncan, I almost forgot. You are going to be our supervisor. Super! Well, hey, kids. Mr. Donut Man. Postman P. I've got a package here for Duncan. Oh. Sign here. What do we have here? Oh. Don't forget oh, your yes. gratuity. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank See you, all Postman later. P. What have we got here, Duncan? Well, my first act is soup. Supervisor is to provide name tags for everyone. Ooh, I like it. I like it. It yeah. will help us to be friendly to others. Yes, that's a good idea. Hold it, hold it. Stop everything. We have a problem. Already? 
We haven't even opened yet. The sign is spelled wrong. Masterpiece only has one S. We'll have to postpone. We can't open today. Oh no, it's all my fault. I remember painting the sign with the brush and, oh no. M A S S. I thought that's how you spelled it. Oh, I couldn't spell my way out of a donut box. Actually, Duncan, it's perfect. It is? In fact, I'm glad you misspelled it. You are? Absolutely. Did you know that a masterpiece is something that's beautiful? One of a kind. Your sign is an accident that will work out beautifully. It will? What do we serve here besides delicious donuts? We teach about the mass. Yes, and the mass is a masterpiece if ever there was one. We're going to keep this sign just the way it is. Masterpiece, donut, shop! Yeah! yeah! Hey, Joe. Hi, everybody. Hey, Hi. how you doing? Hi, Lydia. <laughs> uh, Lydia. Oh, Masterpiece Donut Shop. Now, that has a nice ring to it for sure. Thank you, Father. <laughs> um, Lydia? Lydia. Huh? You're the greeter. You say... Hello? Oh. Uh, <laughs> hello, Father Joe. Wow, this is Fantastic, and I love what you're all doing here. <laughs> Making donuts and teaching about Holy Mass. What a special place. Well, thank you, Father Joe, and you are welcome to join us anytime. What is that noise? Ooh, I've heard it before, but that was a long, long time ago. I think it came from behind this big old tarp over here. How about that? Your shop has inherited a treasure. I didn't know it still existed. What is it? Many years ago, this building was part of the church, the rectory, if I'm not mistaken. It was here over a hundred years ago at the dawn of a new era that Father Janov Kaminsky, priest, scientist, and educator, built the amazing machine you see before you. What does it do? Story has it that he made this machine to teach his flock about the Catholic faith, especially the Mass. Just like we're doing. Great minds think alike. <laughs> well, let's give it a whirl. Maybe not. Well, it is over 100 years old, you know. Hmm. Father Joe, are we forgetting something? Oh, of course, the blessing. Thank you. This masterpiece machine and this entire donut shop is blessed by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The machine teaches us step by step about the Mass. It's kind of like going on a journey, you might say. Hello, sorry, glory, the word of the Lord, holy, holy, our Father, Lamb of God, and the blessing. Oh, I see. This dial tells us what part of the Mass we're learning about. Hello, I'm sorry. Oh, that's the next step of the Mass, I'm sorry. When we ask God for mercy. This is amazing. Uh, 
we should call this the marvelous, magnificent, masterpiece machine. Yeah! <laughs> I think Father Kaminsky would have certainly approved. Where should we begin? Why not start at the beginning? That's a great idea. The beginning, of course. Beautiful. Some parishes ring their bells to gather their people. Hello, ding dong, come to church, ding dong. <laughs> Hello, that's the introductory rite. Second, kissing the altar? What's that about? Great question, Corey. It's a special sign of reverence. Does anyone know what reverence means? Happiness, uh, respect. Good, Lydia, but it goes even further than that. The altar is a place where we offer something back to God. The kiss is a way that we show him our love, and we're glad to be members of his family. Our church is like family. Our donut shop is like a family. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. You make me feel really, really welcome. Father, now, did Lydia make you feel really, really welcome when you came into the store today? Well, it's something maybe she can work on. I'm sorry I wasn't a very good greeter. I never realized how important it is to say hello. Well, God gives us a great greeting in the Mass, so we should give a great greeting to everyone we meet. That's right. At the beginning of every Mass, we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Watch this. It's called the Holy Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Ah, uh, St. Patrick used the clover to teach about the Trinity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Don't we have a song for that? We sure do, Ryan. But since we're in a donut shop, 
and we don't have any clover, we do have salt and water and flour. And since God is three persons and still one God, we'll mix these three parts together to make one dough while we sing. Sun sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings help to me. The Father makes all things. The Father makes all things. The Son sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings help to me. The Father makes us free. The Father makes us free. The Son sets us free. Three people or one people? I mean, person? <laughs> He's three persons, but one God. Look, think of a family, a father and a mother and children, all having the same human nature and united by their love. So it is with the Father and the Son and their love, the Holy Spirit. Three divine persons and only one God. When I was an altar boy, I used to get goosebumps when I got to carry the cross into the church. The cross is where Jesus suffered and died. That's the reason the Mass begins and ends with the cross front and center. Jesus did not run away from our sin. He died for our sin. They beat him, they spat on him, and they nailed him to the cross.
When I look at the cross, it makes me both very happy and very sad, all at the same time. That's the reason God designed the Mass the way He did. We can be very happy to know that Jesus loves us. At the same time, we're sad that it was our sin that nailed Him to the cross. Look, look what's on the next stop on the Masterpiece Machine. It says, sorry. Can I turn the wheel to it, please? Sure, go ahead. Sorry. Yes, we're sorry about our sin. That would be what we call the penitential rite. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Why do you hit yourself on the chest? When I strike myself on the breast, it is a tradition that reminds me to take the responsibility for my own sin, and not to blame someone else. I'm the one at fault. I'm the one to blame. My brother always blames me when he does something bad. Well, we don't want to do that now, do we? <laughs> That's the reason in the Mass, God gives us a chance to say we're sorry for our sin. Besides, don't you always feel better when you tell God you're sorry you've sinned? And what do we teach here in the donut shop? If you make a mess, you clean <laughs> the mess.
Have you ever thought about what sin is? My mother would always say that my bedroom was so dirty that it was a sin. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan, that's not what we're talking about here. Not that you shouldn't keep your room clean, Duncan, but how can we know what sin is? Ah, the Bible tells us what sin is and is not in 10 very clear ways. I know the 10 commandments. Good, Reagan. Give me a high five and give me a high 10. <laughs> <laughs> great things today. Every Mass begins with a truly divine hello. Yes, and God greets us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Then we say we're sorry for our sins. That's my favorite part. Indeed. And you see how the Mass is a masterpiece? It is the sacrifice that gives us peace with God. Sacrifice? Oh, so when I put my favorite book down to do a better job, is that a sacrifice? It certainly is. God helps us to lay our lives down for others by his sacrifice on the cross. Gather around, kids, look. Jesus was broken. They nailed his hands. They nailed his feet. They pierced his side. Yes, he was broken on the cross so he could fill our hearts with God's love. Life without Jesus is like a donut, like a donut, like a donut. Life without Jesus is like a donut, because there's a hole in the middle of your heart. But Jesus fills our hearts with God's love. Will I be seeing you kids at Mass? Yes, yes sir! I'll be there, and I'll be sure to say hello. Me too. I want to be holy. Get it? Holy? <laughs> I get it. I'll be looking for you too, Duncan. Well, it's time to go. So, who can tell me, how does every Mass end? Go! go.